And we have to be on the same page to promote beef and grow demand for it for every sector to be profitable to continue into the future. Packer Glenn Dolezal says that cooperation has recently worked to improve beef products. Uh, beef quality has been up each of the last three years. We think a lot of that's related to changes in genetics. We're seeing a high percentage of black hided cattle entering our facilities. We're seeing uh, more abundance of alternative feedstuffs, uh, namely ethanol co-products. This is then relating to lengthening the time cattle are fed a high concentrate diet. We think all of this is positive for beef quality. But through their Cargill Meat Solutions plant, Stolazol gets a first-hand look at how certain feedlot practices negatively affect grade. Uh, we do have some concerns and I issued some cautions uh, relative to, we encourage judicious use of growth promotants. Uh, again, we think you can go overboard. Uh, this can be negative to carcass quality if it's not monitored appropriately. His biggest call to ranchers is to increase cow numbers with the right kind of cattle, of course. But I think as long as they're producing something that is in the mindset of optimizing size, quality, pre-harvest performance, and so forth, there will always be a market for it. Cargill is working to deliver more uniformity to their customers, and technology like photo-assisted grading helps. Uh, the cameras have been a big win, a big success uh, story. Our customers are very pleased in looking at the consistency that they're getting box to box based on marbling levels and other uh, carcass traits. Uh, so that, that's been a positive move. And so if you have criteria like Certified Angus Beef has for a minimum of modest marbling, those carcasses sorted with technology are going to be not only more consistent in their marbling, but they're also going to perform tenderness, juiciness, and flavor-wise more consistently as well. Implementing camera grading is just one piece of the puzzle. Dolezal says all segments can help improve uniformity, and that's a key to long-term success. Well, I think we're all in this together, and if we can ever get uh, in the same spirit, on the same page, working together, we're going to put out greater product and more of it to compete with other competing proteins, whether it be poultry, pork, whatever the case may be, or the vegan diet. Dolezal spoke as part of this year's Feeding Quality Forum in Omaha, Nebraska and Garden City, Kansas.